How's it going guys? It's a Root Junkie here and in today's video of course we have another FRP bypass video. This one's going to be kind of cool and very important because of the fact that this device right here is a Pixel and it is on the latest Android version, Android 11. Okay, So you can see it was locked. I'm just going to back out to the setup screen and we're going to start this FRP bypass method right here. This sucker is awesome. This video is brought to you by PhoneLab, be the future of mobile. What is PhoneLab, you ask? PhoneLab is a training course for smartphone technicians, uh, along if you also want to learn about Android app development or iOS app development or even Chromebook support, we've got training curriculum for you. You just pick what you want and you click learn more. This will bring you to the site, the page for um, this course. And these courses are very full-fledged. You can see that we've developed lots of cool things for FRP specifically, like our own applications. And Moto Reaper, if you haven't heard of it, it's a pretty cool, powerful program. And you can also see all the curriculum and all the course that we go through. We teach and cover just about everything when it comes to phone software repairs. So check it out uh, down below. You can also see people that have joined our program and train with us here at Phone Lab. But there it is, and we think uh, thank PhoneLab quite a lot for sponsoring this video. Please check it out in the video description down below. So a couple things I want to point out to you guys as we go through this. One is up at the top, you can see that we do have the little padlock. That means that it's FRP lock, this device. You can also see that I am connected to my Wi-Fi already. Um, I don't have a SIM card in this. shouldn't matter here or there if you have it, but just FYI what I'm working with. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our language. Okay, and this is multi-process to get to where we're going to get to, but you're going to see it as we go. It's pretty hilarious and pretty awesome what you can do. So we're going to scroll down here, and this is just the language that I always choose just because I know this process with this language. And what you do is you click this one right here. It's the CPNCKN language, and then you pick the top one. And you can see now the thing has changed. So from here, we're going to click this button. This is normally where it says skip the SIM card setup, and we're going to skip that. And then we're going to go back, okay? And the reason we're going back is because we want to get to the Wi-Fi setup. So just pick any Wi-Fi that you aren't currently hooked to. So you obviously have to have one, first of all, because you need to get the keyboard to pop up, okay? And what we're going to do on the keyboard is we're going to hold down this little button right here for, for world, which lets us change uh, language stuff. So we're going to click this option. And then we're going to click this guy down here. Again, you can't see what this is because it's in a foreign language, but just follow the process. You're going to find the very first one with an arrow. You're going to click that. Then you're going to come up top. You're going to click the three dots. And we're going to click this one. There's going to be lots and lots of clicking, so just bear with me. Okay? We're going to come up here, and we're going to tap this little world again, which changes our keyboard back to English. And then we're going to type in, you've seen this probably before, Morse code. So use Morse code and you get this option. Now most of us know how to go from here into uh, to do FRP bypass videos into YouTube and so on but you probably don't know this method. So we're going to come in here and we're going to hit share and then we're going to share with messaging and we're going to click this guy and then we're going to type in and you can type in anything. I just do one two three and hit send so now it's trying to send this information. We don't care about that. We're going to come up here to the top, and we're going to click the fourth option. Okay? This opens this window. We're going to go back to the three dots and click the fourth option again, which is this window. Now we're going to click this option, and now you can see this has something to do with the messaging application. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the search, and we're going to type in A. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? It just keeps going. It's going to go like this the whole way through. You're going to love it. All right. So now we're going to click the little thing that looks like a download. And we're going to click the little globe. We're going to click the little top language thing. We're going to add a language. We're going to add United States. We're going to scroll up. So that switches the language to English to be the top language, which you can see has now changed the language. And we're going to go back. And we're going to go back. And now, actually, you probably could let it sit. It's not enough. So we're going to type in, oh, it is. There you go. App. All right. And then you're going to go to this one, App Info. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, isn't it? You're going to love it. You're going to love it. All right. So from here, App Info, 
we're going to scroll down and hit settings and we're going to open settings and now here we are in the device settings okay from here i just want to show you what device this actually is this is a pixel 2 xl this should work on all pixel devices anything that's really stock android this process should function in some way you may have to tweak it for your device but when it comes to pixel devices it should be exactly this okay Here's our Android version right there, Android 11. Security patch is October 5th, 2020, which is, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the 12th right now. So we're, we're, we're very, very current, okay? It's the 12th right now when I'm shooting this video. All right, so you can see that we're in settings. Um, so from here, what we gotta do, very critical, is go into accessibility. Scroll down, right here it says accessibility menu. Go ahead and turn on accessibility mental. Allow, got it. And you can now see you have this little eye guy in the bottom, this little icon with this little figure. Um, and yeah, we're gonna leave it just like that, save. So now we can go back and we can go back and we can go into apps. And from here, we're gonna go look for a specific application. So we need to go up here and say show system if I'm going very fast, don't worry about it. You can always pause the video. Um, and let's see, we're going to scroll way down here to P. If I can find it. Here it is. Pixel setup. Okay. This application we're going to disable and we're going to force stop. All right. Okay. So I think we are now at the point of awesomeness. Okay. <laughs> And I'll show you why. And as long as you've done everything I've done, you should be good to go. Now, I'm just going to point out a couple things or, or mention a couple things. Currently, um, we, could, we could launch all kinds of other applications from here, like Chrome and everything else. But this Android version blocks you installing applications, sideloading from unknown sources. So can't do that. It blocks you from setting a password, so we can't do that. Okay? Which is why we did what we just did, and you're going to see why. All right. So... Basically, we're going to back all the way out with the back button. And look, do you notice something different? The setup screen is not the pixel setup. It's the stock Android setup. Okay, So that's kind of important as to what we're doing here. So we're going to click Start. And you're going to get to this screen. Okay, On this screen, <laughs> this is it's so cool. Just check this. You're going to click the little accessories guy. Now, do you see what you see? Assistant. Open settings. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Check this. Go into apps. Go in here. Kill the setup wizard. Ready? Force stop. You see a little lock went away up top of the screen, okay? So you just killed that. Now, we're going to go back, and we're going to come down here, and we're going to find Google Play Services. And we're going to disable it and hit force stop. Now we're gonna go back. Okay, one more back, should be enough. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna say skip. Yeah, dude, this is awesome. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna force crash the setup wizard, okay? Don't copy. And you're gonna see the force crash, or the crash. The crash is, is, is in, 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 the, in, the, in this. Look, see it says checking for updates? Checking for updates, checking for updates checking for updates okay we just made the setup wizard fail all right so from here we're going to click the little guy again we're going to click assistant and you may have to do this a couple times and be quick and go to settings and go to enable and go back and tap the screen ready bam bam <laughs> we just bypassed check that out check it out all right set setting accept Okay, here, look, it's like you can put in your own lock screen. Well, it's going to fail because of how we force crash the setup wizard, but you can do this. Check it out. Skip. Okay, ready for it? Get ready. Here it comes. Wham! Okay, now this is interesting. You're going to get this Google Keep stopping because we've just freaked out the setup wizard, right? But FRP at this point is removed, and the way we can prove that is we can swipe into settings... And we can go into security. And now we can set a new pattern password. I just I always do this for my FRP videos. 
the, the, the Z if I can do it. And confirm. And confirm. And bam, we now have a password set up on this device, okay? So to officially remove FRP from the device, the best thing to do from here is just to go into settings, go into system, advanced, go to reset, and do a full factor reset. This will fix all the apps that we've uh, disabled and all the freak out of the settings that we did because at this point we have officially removed FRP from the device. So we'll put in that new Z password, right? And we'll say erase data. And this will put all the apps back working correctly. It'll put us back to a good setup wizard and it will allow us to set it up with anybody's Google account once again like new out of the box factory reset frp removed yeah yeah there it is unedited now i'm not even editing this video it's gonna be straight through this is the process right here it's gonna erase and it's gonna come back up without the little padlock and frp is gone so there you go guys that is the process um i hope you have enjoyed this video i found this super fun this took me many hours of research to figure out how to do this but uh, here it is for you guys. Now, if you guys like FRP bypass videos like this and you're interested, please, please check out Phone Lab. It's an amazing site. Um, it's if you're wanting to learn how to do FRP bypasses and do s software repairs for customers and for people's phones, it's a training platform that um, I'm part of and I would love to see you guys in there. It's really, really awesome and you can learn tons of cool tricks like this and become the expert in the. Uh, unlocking arena of phones on uh, especially Android phones. It's 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 going to be awesome. So check that out. I'll leave it down in the video description down below, and we'll just let this thing uh, boot back up here just to show you. All right, here we go. That is it right there. Shabam! Thank you, ma'am. Don't see a padlock in the top of the corner of the screen anymore because FRP is gone. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. You like seeing FRP stuff and things like this. And again, please check out all the links in the video description. You'll learn all kinds of cool stuff. If you don't have your device set up on this uh, Android version, I do have some videos on how to sideload this firmware exactly so that this process will work seamless for you. And I'll leave those in the video description down below. Catch you guys in the next video. Root Junkie out.